Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn that how to take multiple inputs in one variable. We know that we have one function input to take the input uh, from the user and store into one variable. And we know that the input function always returns a string. But here is the case that we want to take multiple inputs and we want to store in one variable. So since we know that the input function takes uh, the string type of values, so we can call the split function from the string and a split will split your inputs on the basis of spaces and it will store into the variable v. Let's see the input uh, that we will take from the user and by using the print function. So let's run this and here I'm taking the inputs like this. Okay. And here you will notice that we are taking the input uh, like 12, 34, 45 and all the numbers, but it's still it is uh, a string. Okay, because just, just because of input takes uh, always the string as input. Now, what uh, if we want that these input should be only the integer type or a specific type? So in that case, what you have to do that you have to use the map function. And in map function, the first argument, you have to specify the type of values in which you want to convert the inputs that you are taking from the user. Okay, and after that, you have to convert this whole map object into the list or any other type of a triple object like list, tuple, or set. So now we'll convert it to the list. We'll take the input from the user and that input will convert into the integer. So this is now a specific type. So here, okay. So you can see we are taking the in multiple inputs of integer type in one variable that is v and v is now uh, v is now type of list but make sure that when you have passed this as that this needs to be converted into the integer you are not taking any other type of values as an input for example if i'll put the values as one two three four and after that i am writing here a b c so this will raise error because abc cannot be converted into the integer okay so this will tell you that invalid filter for the integer type of the function with the base 0 abc okay so please make sure that when you are taking the multiple inputs one, into one variable and you are specifying the specific type of input so you are just giving only the specific type of values to convert into it okay so this is how we take the multiple inputs into one variable into the python Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.